You need it. You're okay. You got it. Yep. Looks like something was bleeding here. As I said, ouch, oh, it hurts. I'm, I'm being mean to you today, huh? <laughs> Do you think you injured this beyond just the corn? Oh yeah. I mean, I, if I drop things, it just automatically goes to the middle of my toes. And I mean, do you think that there's something actually broken that we should take an x-ray? I don't think so. It's, ba it's basically the end. Okay. You know, so it doesn't feel so if I bad. press here, that's not bad. That doesn't make you want to jump out of the chair and hit me? Oh. Okay. So it's just really right up here. Yeah. Okay. And it feels a lot better with the with that little pad under here. Tell me again what it's called. We call it a crust roll. I'll get you. No, you don't. Okay, so this is the nail that's been really bothering you. Ooh, and red. besides having kind of a long nail here, yeah. you've got a little bit of a corn right under the nail. Under the nail? Yep, I'll show you. Oh. You can start filing it down. Okay, so stay right there. And what I'm going to do is let's... Trim that little corn that was right under that nail. Yeah, see, I took a pumice stone and I was kind of mm -hmm. sanding away, but because I didn't know what it was in there. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Came about because the nail dug in. Does that feel better now? I don't know until I put a shoe on. Okay. They start to walk. That was the thing. Or even in bed when okay. I put this. Pull the sheets up, it would still hurt. You know, it could be because as your toe is curved, yes. you're walking and the ground is hitting from the bottom and the nail's hitting from the top. Yeah. And that skin is getting caught in between. Okay, so does this corn bother you when you're in a shoe? Uh, does this corn bother you when you're in a shoe? Uh, no. Okay, you don't feel it? I don't fix that one. I don't. I didn't even know there was one there. Ah. Yeah, it's because you're walking on the tip of your toe like that instead of on the pad of the toe. How long has this been bothering you? Oh, probably since last, well, right before we went down to Florida. Which is how many months ago? Uh, four. Okay, so this has been, it's been getting like, worse and worse for correct. four years. For four months. Or four, <laughs> four, four months. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I could, four or five months. It was probably December. Okay. I, you know, and I was like, we already had, you know, it's like, okay, it's going to get, I kept thinking it's going to get better. Mm -hmm. It's going to go away, but it didn't. It's got worse. So sometimes it gets kind of hard when you're doing this to tell where the nail ends and the skin starts, but mm -hmm. I think I pretty much... That one, okay, and then that one just looks nasty. Well, this one, there's a bruise under the nail. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's in like a blood blister up here, and then a bruise under there. So, and then Gross. you said in between here. Yes. Got, um, all right, that already looks well. That looks like I it's tried selling me sandals, and I couldn't stop laughing. I went, you do realize I have no toes. <laughs> you have just short toes. And she was like, "Well, we can make them look pretty out now." I'll be stuck with those. I'm fine with the, as long as they're not Velcro and like 
tan, I'll be good. Yes. <laughs> serious. As long as they don't look like they belong on your great grandma, is mm. that what you're saying? Dang. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, let's we'll look at the one on the toe. Yeah. I have a feeling that nail is just going to come right off, and there's just some bleeding <laughs> underneath. No, it's probably already on the top. Um, That's just nasty. Yeah. You know. I have to thank God my husband is not a foot person because I showed him. I'm like, look at this. Look, look, look. He's like. Uh, Get that thing away from I'm me. sure he appreciated that. Um, okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back a little bit here. Okay. I'm just going to clip into here. And when did this happen? How long ago? Um, about two weeks ago. Okay. And I was going to try to prolong it for another two weeks when I see you, but I actually I could feel the pain. I thought, well, that's a good thing, but it's really gross. Yeah, it's that thick skin thing. Yeah, but I think there's a little blood blister under it. So what we need to make sure is that if it's a blood blister, that the skin at the base of it is intact. So. And that it's not an ulcer. Yeah, I tried to get in there and pick it, but then I heard you in my ears very loudly. Oh, I'm so excited. Good. Stop. That makes me so happy to know I had that effect. You do. I even saw the look. You saw the look? I did. I was like, oh, I don't have a look. Oh, that scared me. My mom has the look. <laughs> no, you have the look. I do. In my little vision. <laughs> Well, at this point, it looks like the blood that was in the blood blister kind of dry. Okay. And so I don't see any evidence of an open sore underneath. Oh, thank The God. skin is intact here. Okay. Okay. So this one, you dodged a bullet. Now, it's not like you can't wear those new shoes, but given that you don't have the sensation mm -hmm. that we want, you really need to break them in slowly. Okay. And so this is just dried blood here. Okay. Yeah, I bought those two weeks ago too. I didn't put the together. Well, you just wear them for an hour around the house, take them out, or take them off. Wear them the next time for two hours around the house. If everything feels good, then the next day you can go three. And that's how you break them in without causing this. I was really surprised about the size. You know, here's another business idea for anybody who's entrepreneurial. There needs to be some kind of shoe exchange program. I thought of the same thing. I'm sure a million people have thought of it. I don't know that one exists. Maybe it does. Where you connect with other people who have the exact opposite sizes you have, and hopefully your taste in shoes. And you become a member and then you trade. That is wonderful. It is. Because I kept thinking, everybody asked me the same question. So would you do buy two pairs? I went for three hundred dollars. No, one hundred and fifty was good enough. So I'm wearing one that's floppy and one that's fits. Well, but they could probably help you fill that up with some padding and stuff, did they? No, she was young. Okay. Well, at the very least, like a tongue pad to hold your foot back. Okay. So that looks nice and clean, and that's all good skin there. Oh, good. Okay. We asked, and here's what you had to say about Rustmore. The cool thing is I wake up refreshed, don't feel groggy. I slept really well, and I have, like, no residual, like, you know, sleepy, drowsy feeling. Now I am wide awake at work because I sleep well at night. Thanks, Rustmore. That's right, Rustmore. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Better, deeper sleep. All natural and healthy, more energy during the day. Let's hear more. I've been getting the best sleep ever. I'm finding myself sleeping all through the night, waking up fresh and rested in the mornings. I'm bright and alert. It has changed my life for the better. I keep hearing from people who've been trying the products, same thing, you just put them to sleep. If you haven't tried Rest More yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. 
there you go. When you just need more rest, get rest more. There's an Amazon link in the description below.